Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to roll. It's your girl Keontae and I'm going to jump right into a reading for us Pisces. We're going to talk about the current energies and what I see surrounding us and what's coming towards us in the near future. As you know, Baby Sharks, it is a general read. So everything won't resonate for every last single one of you. Please keep what resonates for you and release what doesn't. Again, this is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces Cross Watcher. Pisces, if I get it right for you, take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email address is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. It's also provided in the description box below. All right, so let's see what's going on in the current, what's the nature of the current energies and the surrounding energies for Pisces. Spirit inner child healing. Okay. Okay. Need one more. All right. One more for the current energies for Pisces. All right, Pisces, you or someone, not sure who this is, this could be happening to you or someone coming towards you, someone in your vicinity. Underneath the deck, we have Union, which is the Lover's card. Pisces, I see here, you could be dealing with a, um, a Gemini or a Sagittarius. I have water as well. I have some Earth, too. Pisces, what I feel like is happening here is there's, um, there's some sort of energy where whatever inner child healing, whatever healing... So there, I feel it feels very much like an internal healing has or has been taking place. Yes, it feels like it has taken place in the current. And I feel like that's why divine timing is here. Trust and divine timing. This is Sagittarius energy. So if this is like healing and 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 this is Sagittarius energy, which is temperance energy, but it's also like the divine timing, the time, right? The right time. It feels like there's definitely been some sort of inner child. Either inner child healing or this is literally some sort of internal healing energy here. I don't know why I'm getting like feelings of unworthiness and ish like that too. But divine timing is now kicking in here. And what's happening because the time is now and divine timing is kicking in. This is wish fulfillment and abundance. This is receiving. This is receiving what you deserve here. So let's get some clarification on this for you, Pisces. I don't know who you're dealing with. Again, it could be um, I have Gemini. I have Sagittarius. I also have a little bit of Earth. Now, Pisces, something significant definitely could be going down in Sagittarius season. But there is some sort of inner child healing, right? Again, it, this could be uh, wounding, coping mechanisms, learned behavior. Someone's just doing some self-discovery. But it is divine timing, meaning that greater forces are at play. This is an energy of release and control because all is working out for the highest good. And because this is happening, Pisces, you have fulfillment, wish, wish fulfillment, nine of cups, success, uh, success, if, achievements and happy outcomes. And then here's abundance receiving. Right. So this is receiving what you wish for and divine timing, gifts, celebrations, promotions, opportunity, successful ventures here. OK, let me get some clarification on this on what's going on in the current. Again, Pisces, and this could definitely be a reunion and a reconciliation because I do have soulmate energies under here. This could just be this could just be something that's happening internal internally with your soul fear because you did some work on yourself but let me see what additional messages i get give me some for this inner child healing energy here this feels like a this feels like a very internal thing yep ascension this is an internal thing that someone has done lockbox they're getting themselves out like this is freeing oneself pisces someone could be coming towards you in this energy or this is something that you're doing give me some for divine timing here with the greater forces at play Gossip. Pisces, there could definitely be some energy where someone is going to have to ignore what people have to say, right? I do feel like this. Let me get a pen. I just got through studying and I don't know where I put all of my pens. My brain is like fried right now. You may have to ignore the gossip about this, okay? It may be an energy where you're you're literally having, someone's having to ignore what's being said, right? Because I do feel like divine time. And yeah, this is like ignoring what, ignoring what someone has to say because here's financial support because something is getting ready to pay off. So let's see what the wish fulfillment is. This is something that's bringing. This is this is a wish fulfilled. Look, magnetic. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. This is attracting the right energy because of ascension. This is trust in, a, trust in divine timing. This is unexplainable. Pull can't resist. I do feel like whoever is doing this, whoever is, did this inner work, doing this inner, this ascension, 
doing this healing, this inner healing. I do feel like there's going to be some talk about something when something goes down, but I do feel like there's an energy of having to ignore what gossipers or hater, haters or jealous people saying or envious people saying because this fulfillment is attracting the right kind of energy. This is attracting the energy that you want, right? This is this is wish fulfillment with, the, with a magnetic energy. So let's see. Let me write that down. This is attracting what you what you wish, Pisces. And someone is doing it, whether this is you or someone that's coming towards you. So let's see what the abundance is, the windfall, the gift, the celebration, the promotion, the opportunity, and a successful venture here for the baby sharks. Drama queen. You could be dealing with a fire sign here, insatiable. Pisces, for some of you, you may have somebody who is definitely coming towards you. When insatiable and thirstier, Pisces, I don't know. If you're some of you may be this queen of wands, some of you may be really, really uh determined and driven right now. Some of you may yourself be on some sort of insatiable um quest to receive here. Because I have insatiable and then I have thirsty. Pisces, some of you are just dealing with a fire sign, and there could be someone coming, like someone could definitely be coming towards someone offering them something here because they're insatiable. They can't get enough of someone, right? There's an abundance of something here that someone can't get enough of. It's unquenchable. There's like a giving here. I'm just not sure where this is going yet, Pisces. Let me get a little tarot on this. Again, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is resonating. Email me if you're interested in booking. Pisces, there, there, could, there could definitely be someone here who um doesn't get enough, right? Because I feel like there could be an energy with someone thirsty and causing chaos. It could almost be someone who always wants something here. I don't know what that's about, but I'm getting some of that energy. It's not for all of you. Just put it where it goes. It could definitely be a fire sign or a water sign. But Pisces, you could definitely be this queen of wands here. And you're thirsty to receive. And the more you receive... Yeah, Pisces, this is the more you receive something, the more you want of it. The more... The more you receive it. And I, I don't know if this is you or someone else. But it's the more someone receives something, the more they want it. So let me jot that down. All right, let me get some tarot on this for you guys. Let's see. Sp uh, uh, Spirit, give me some messages for the inner child and ascension. Someone is doing some internal work and they're ascending. They're healing. They're ascending. It's time, too. I just heard it's about damn time. Look, the eight of wands. I do feel like this is forward movement. This is communication. This is happening. The knight of pentacles. And they're moving to a very stable place. This could have been something that's a long time coming. But this is very stable. This is very, um, the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight. In tarot, but that's because this is the most stable. The I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. This is a, a this is the night that you can rely on, depend on. It's trustworthy. Some of you are ascending, for sure, or someone is. Give me one for divine timing and gossip. I do feel like that there's an energy of having to, to, to trust divine timing and not listen to what people have to say because greater forces are at play. Someone is releasing control because all is working out for its highest good. There's the Eight of Cups. See. Someone's getting ready to turn it back on a person, place a thing that's no longer serving them. And look what's under there, the Ace of Pentacles, a whole new opportunity. So listen, with the Ace of Pentacles and the devil here, that could definitely be an insatiable uh, quest for money here, right? Someone could definitely be insatiable for money and got to have it. There could definitely be an energy of someone definitely turning their back on some toxic issue and getting them a new beginning. Capricorn could be involved. There's definitely an energy of healing, though. So let's see why this fulfillment and magnet energy is here. This is attracting what you wish. This is getting what you wish and attracting what you wish for. Like, it's almost like an unexplainable pull for what you wish coming to you for somebody here, Pisces. Give me this. The Knight of Pentacles. It definitely feels like this is long-term stability and ish like that. This could even be a long-term partner, Four of Cups. After being bored, very bored and discontent over some situations, there's a couple of options to pursue here for sure. So let's see why this drama queen... And this, uh, and this windfall is here for Pisces and the current. Why is this here in the current for Pisces? Death. There's an end and change and a transformation happening here. So there's definitely, someone could definitely be tr driven in, on this insatiable quest. And it's going to change a lot here. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio or fire sign here. There's a queen of pentacles under here. For some of you, there's definitely like a, an energy of being very driven, very focused, very determined to receive. There could also be something ending here with the drama queen here. And this and, and, for, and because something is ending here with the drama queen, it could be with the queen of pentacles. It could be bringing in stability for another person here. 
Yep, four of wands. It feels like there's some sort of union or partnership with another person because something could be ending, changing, transforming, or just plain ending with someone who doesn't get enough of drama and BS. Put it where it goes, Pisces. I just simply read the energy. Put yourself where you go in it. Let's go ahead and get some future energies, the near future for us, for Pisces. Okay, y'all, again, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me at ForTheLoveOfWildTarot at gmail.com. Y'all don't forget to throw them likes. They are great, greatly appreciated. Let me get a few for the future energies for the baby shark spirit. Give me some messages for the future energies for Pisces. Make it plain for me. Peace, love, light, and clarity for the baby sharks. Near future energy on the previous spread. Near future energy for Pisces. Uh-oh, that's the will of fortune. I told y'all, fate, destiny, the will of fortune. I feel like this is this is like some karmic rewards coming in. Spirit guide. Some there's definitely, I feel like whatever's happening right now, Pisces, some of my spirit guides are definitely on board for this. This is a faded change that some of my spirit guides are directing, leading, guiding. They are on board with this change. Yep, the world. See, there's a cycle closing out, lessons being learned. There's new cycles beginning here. Faded, two majors. Give me one more for Pisces. The sun, Leo energy. Yes, this is ready for the world here. The devil is underneath the deck. Pisces, this is ready for the world. I see it. Someone is. You are someone. There's definitely some sort of uh will there's some sort of fortunate change that's happening here. This is the will of fortune. This is karmic cycles, divine intervention, divine detours. This is all a poor, this is all according to a divine plan. Pisces, I just heard that this was the divine plan. This was the divine plan. Now, Pisces, the reason why this is happening is because someone is get their spirit guides are on board with this. This is a this is assistance, divine guidance, signs and synchronicity. There's also a guardian. This is almost like some of the ish that may have rejected you was because of protection. I see protection here. Spirit, the spirit guides are definitely all over this, and whatever this is that is happening, it's destined, it's faded, it's like written in the stars. And then here's the world, which is a which is karmic completions, travel, fulfillment. Achievement after obstacles and success, I'm telling you. And then we have the sun, which is strength, empowerment, heart chakra opening, compassion, happiness, and the truth revealed. So, Pisces, whatever is happening here, I feel like it's going to be seen very clearly. It's going to be very clearly what new cycles are going to begin. It's going to be an energy of having strength and empowerment. I do feel like the like the devil and ooh, the devil, fulfillment, and the empress. And then she gets the six of wands here. I do feel like whatever, what someone is definitely obsessing over getting what they want. Or it feels like someone has been feeling extremely bound and tied and oppressed and unable to get wish fulfillment. There's victory and success coming in that, for sure. There could definitely be someone obsessing over a divine feminine here. It's like obsessing over her that is very much gushing over her that wants her attention or wants her um acknowledgement there could also be a big acknowledgement coming to a divine feminine here that has been very been feeling very stuck bound and um yeah just feeling stuck put it where it goes let's get some more messages for this give me some for the will of fortune here there's definitely a change here it's faded and it's destined pisces crushed in history. Yep, Pisces, it feels like some sort of past heartbreak, crush, sad, broken, and long. It's history. The past that happened, it's done. This is uh, Sagittarius and Taurus energy for me. Someone could be crushed by a previous um, career. This could be crushed by a school experience. This could be crushed by um, a marriage, feeling crushed by a pre previous marriage. But the Wheel of Fortune is something changing here, right? For sure. So let's see why the spirit guides are here children some of you may have spirit guides that are children people you've known since childhood this could be people who raised you and if you i feel like somebody's for some of you your spirit guides have been talking to your soulmate maybe your twin flame here for some of you it literally someone's spirit guides interview they're talking to someone someone's six of cups here someone's childhood person or something here so there's a six of cups energy here that could have to be someone's spirit guides and finally talking to them pisces your spirit guides could I, I just it just feels like a a conversation with spirit guides some of you your spirit guides are going to lead you to an interview i don't know if you're working with children a business with children a younger person give me one for the world here 
retaliation triggers pisces i do feel like something is changing something is happening here with the world where there's a cycle closing out where someone no longer even seeks retaliation punishment payback or revenge some sort of cycle of that pisces maybe you're not dealing with someone who seeks to retaliate or it's just an energy i feel like someone is no longer seeking retaliation for something because something has changed here triggers yes yeah, like something can't trigger the cycle of being triggered is over give me one for this sun energy here some of you are definitely dealing with the leo gossip see this is something see, see pisces there's something about journal there's something about seeing something clearly about what someone has to say here for sure this is seeing something clearly about what others have to say about a situation it could be definitely some pe people that's petty jealous or envious of someone here pisces for sure Pisces, for some of you, this could be some people that you grew up with. I dare I say even family. I hate to say that, Pisces, but for some of you, that is what it is. Maybe maybe you got people in your family or people you've known since childhood. You got a long history with. Perhaps you've been hurt because these people been doing this. But Pisces, somebody's spirit guides is uh, somebody's spirit, spirit guides are at work. They are. And whatever's getting ready to happen, the spirit guides approve of this. There's going to be some real cl real, real clarity. Like, I also feel like, Pisces, for some of you, somebody may be getting ready to be really happy. There could be a lot of gossip about something that someone is planning to do. It could even be, it could even be somebody planning to retaliate because someone is definitely having some sort of faded change. And whatever history, that whatever happened in the past where there was this past history of feeling sad, broken, and alone, that's over with. Now, Pisces, for some of you, there could definitely be somebody with salty balls because their spirit guides and your spirit guides is all out in the open like you could not care about something anymore you don't even seek retaliation it could be somebody seeing that clearly and talking ish mm -hmm. or somebody feels like they don't even care about that stuff no more about that that retaliation and all that stuff somebody says they're getting they, they're getting ready to evoke some sort of change the days of being sad crushed broken and feeling alone are history that's what someone's telling me here let's get some tarot on it for you baby sharks give me some for this will of fortune and history that's over there's a change here on that. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or um, a Sagittarius. The sun, see? I'm telling you, seeing it clearly. There is something about the days of when letting somebody say something or retaliate, bother someone, it's over. The hermit, you could be dealing with a Virgo. If someone has done some soul searching about this, somebody is really realizing this, uh, that somebody else has got internal problems where they're never satisfied and somebody could, it could be moving away from that or someone has did some real shadow work about being bored and discontent. They seeing something really clearly and they moving on and it's the right thing to do. Ten of Cups to Justice. That's why the faded change is here for sure. Give me one more for this fake energy here. Look. The Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Pisces, the days of feeling crushed, sad, and broken alone are over. That is history. It may have happened, but there is a change coming here. I'm telling you, whether this is you or someone else, the moon. Yes, there are some things that are still very, very, very beneath the surface about this. But look what's under there, that Ace of Pentacles. Yep. So let's see why spirit guides and children are here. For some of you, it has something to do with your, your twin flame or someone you know since childhood, have children with... For some of you, your spirit guides is a child or it's someone that you knew since childhood or you grew up with. The four of swords. This is a healing energy, though. The spirit guides are healing something here. For sure. Three of swords. I'm telling you, healing this ouch. The cherry. Because there's getting ready to be forward movement. You could be dealing with an air sign or a cancerian. And there's that hermit again. Some of you are dealing with a cancerian or a Virgo. But this is someone doing this deep, deep introspection about this energy. Give me one more about this. For some of you, if you're wondering if your person... If they spirit guide. Some of you, I feel like somebody's spirit guides is getting to somebody about something that they did. Seven of Cups. I feel like they having dreams about it and ish like that too. This feels like dream space and when you sleep, two of cups. Yep. For some of you, your soulmate is getting the business from spirit from your spirit guides. I don't know if you have children with this person, if this is just you know this person says childhood. Some of you, your spirit guides may be coming to you in your dreams for sure. I don't know why I'm hearing in the form of children. <laughs> Give me. Give me the uh, give me clarification for the world and retaliation. Pisces, the cycle of somebody even more retaliation, pu punishment, payback, and revenge is are over, and that's because somebody has completed some sort of karmic uh, completion. So they have they they're ready to start a, some sort of some sort of new cycle. It's been a karmic completion. They're ready to travel. They're ready to go move. Well, go after their wish fulfillment. 
they're ready to achieve some uh achieve they're ready for their achievements after the house when they successfully put something past them the five of wands yep somebody has successfully moved past this let me write that down some look at the back look at the battle I'm telling you, somebody successfully moved past, is moving past something here. They don't even want punishment, payback, and revenge. Yep, Ten of Swords, it's over. Yep, I don't even want the punishment. I don't even want the revenge. Give me one more for this. Pisces, I don't know what this is about. Put yourself where you go. The lovers, there's that Gemini energy. The Wheel of Fortune, it's time for a change. There's that Gemini energy and that Sagittarius energy. Yep, there's a King of Cups under here too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces, this could be you or him feeling this way. Put it where it goes. Yep, the Ace of Wands, they ready for in the beginning. I told you. So let's get what the sun and strength. I do feel like somebody is saying, damn what people going to say. Damn the petty, the petty ish. Damn the, damn the jealousy. Damn, damn, damn the envy. Damn what people say. Somebody see something real clear. To hell with what they say. That's what I heard. Ten of Pentacles. Yep, this is what somebody is focused on. Somebody could be ignoring what somebody pet, petty and jealous and envious saying in their home or their household for sure. But I feel like somebody is focused on that Knight of Pentacles. Yep, they focused on long-term stability, loyalty, re loyalty, reliability. Nine of Cups. That's what they wishing for. Two of Pentacles. And they got a couple choices here. Three of Pentacles on who they want to work with, what they want to build. Someone is telling me they see something clearly. And they don't give a damn what people got to say. Seven of Swords, and I feel like that's why they strategizing. Either they see these this petty, jealous, envious uh, energy as sneaky, or somebody is plotting to get again, uh, go, uh, to get away from it. The Moon, they sure are. Yep, the High Priestess, Pisces. This could be you. This could be you knowing this and moving on. Pisces, this could be someone coming towards you. Maybe you know this intuitively. Some of you are just dealing with another water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yep, Pisces, the Empress here. There you are, though. Pisces, you may know this, that someone is stuck, you may be the empress and someone is stuck in their head about you. Or Pisces, you may know this about someone being stuck with the empress. Give me one more on this. Give me one more on this, son. I do feel like someone is telling me damn what they say. They don't give, I don't give a damn what they say. Give me one more for this. The two of cups. There's a soulmate connection here. The knight of swords. I do feel like there could be definitely someone deciding to sever a soulmate connection. Yep. And turn they back on a person, place, or thing that's no longer serving them. Two of swords tell me that they definitely are. Why? Because somebody is looking towards the future. And with the, oh, the, the knight of wands and the king of swords, this person is definitely ready to make some sort of moves. I do feel like this person may definitely be ready to speak up here about something. But someone is definitely seeing something clearly. Someone is definitely going to wield that sword of truth here. For sure. There's an energy of seeing something very clearly. Whether you're seeing something clearly about somebody, Pisces, or some or someone coming towards you see something clearly about what, some, what other people got to say, I do see what's happening here very clearly. I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Email me if you're interested in booking. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay high vibing. I'll have readings for us soon. I love you, Pisces. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.